Hello. And welcome everyone to the Handy Games Indies Paradise Showcase, where we're about to show you gameplay of eight of our upcoming titles, two of which we haven't previously shown at all. My name is Konsti, I'm the Community Manager at Handy Games. And I'm Anna, I'm with QA. And Scarf will be our first title tonight. And the name really says it all, so let's have a look. Scarf is an exciting single-player adventure game, mixing puzzles and 3D platforming. Discover your true destiny as you explore beautifully crafted worlds, but you won't have to do it alone, as you can rely on the help of your trustworthy companion, a dragon-shaped scarf. As soon as you are born, you will meet this enchanted creature. Your task is to help the scarf get back home and reunite it with its mother. Follow the little souls who stole the keys to your scarf's home through three colorful and magical worlds. Although beautiful, these worlds have been altered by the souls in various ways, trying to hide the keys from the scarf. They set up daring challenges and overwhelming blockades to stop you from catching up with them and stealing back the tickets to your goal. During your adventure, you will have to solve all kinds of increasingly complex puzzles, overcome daunting obstacles, and discover gorgeous new places using interesting mechanics. Create a bond with the scarf and unlock new abilities that will allow you to master exceedingly difficult platforming challenges. Glide, hook, and slingshot your way through this fantastical world of wonders. Hidden within the levels lies the story of the world. It is up to you to find fragments of this story by searching for those secret places. What has actually happened between the souls and the scarf? Will you be able to find the links? Not all is as it seems. Only you can find the truth. Up next, a Rats Quest. This game has been in development for a while. We've announced it a couple of years ago and you may have seen a trailer before. However, we have a bunch of gameplay to show you, narrated by none other than the game's main character himself, Matt the Rat. Enjoy. Coming, I'm coming. Yes. Hmm. Tell me your story. My story. Whew. Well, for starters, I'm not from round these parts. Obviously. I had a life before. Wasn't bad at all, really. Actually, things were starting to look up for me. I'd just become a scavenger. I could go anywhere. I could eat. Most days. But... Guess the fates had other plans for me. Because just like that, poof, gone. I vanished. I vanished. No, I mean, I didn't vanish. I was banished. I, I, exiled, you know? Point is, one day I was in the rat commune, then the next day in the bottom of a well, barely breathing. Cold, dark, and I was alone. Except for a couple of slimy frogs. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but frogs, they don't do cheese. Didn't even know what cheese is. Really? Like, really? <laughs> Anyways, what do you know? I made it out of that well. I mean, 
It wasn't my first escape from a cheese-forsaken pit, but this time, I didn't have Rust's snarky comments to get me ahead. <laughs> oh, that old rat. Not long after, I saw it. The house. Home. I was thrilled. And, well, a bit terrified, sorta. Also, relieved. But furs! It was so far away! She was so far away. Damn. To think we were about to elope, she and I. But we never saw it coming. I mean, we didn't exactly have a plan B just in case a huge, vengeful, rat-eating feral beast tried to claw us to bits. But there I was, in the wild outside. Everything was wonderful, and yet so dangerous, and new to me. The funny thing is, that was our dream, to live together in the outside. Ah. Every step I take gets me closer to them, but still home feels far away. And I have to return to them. I know they are in danger. That evil threatening them right now is what landed me miles and miles away from home. It's all connected somehow, I know it is. And I have to stop it. That's why I must go back. That's why I have to find my way back home. Our next title is going to be something completely new for us at Henry Games, because it's going to be the first time we're publishing a first-person shooter. Perish is violent, fast-paced, and it's a roguelike. And it's heavy metal. Perish is a hellish four-player first-person co-op shooter with endless battles in order to ascend to the heavens. Face eternal doom and slay hordes of demonic creatures on the black sands of purgatory and sell their gold-stained corpses to executed priests in exchange for increasingly powerful melee weapons and firearms. Overwhelm abominable bosses and use the spoils of war to gain entrance to Elysium, a place reserved for mortals related to the gods and heroes. Gold and death are waiting. This place is Pantheon, or what's left of it. Once an overground temple, it's now a necropolis dedicated to the damned and forgotten. A sanctum for uninitiated souls who dream of finding a path to Elysium, and the tomb to which they return if their quest to find the afterlife ends violently. You, too, are fighting your way through Pantheon towards Elysium. The result is a never-ending battle amongst the dead. Competition is fierce, and most are doomed to meet their brutal end over and over again, only to be forced to undertake the trials 
again from scratch. From melee weapons to firearms to divine lightning, Parrish features a whole array of weaponry to unlock and upgrade. Even with the mightiest ordnance, the hordes of the deceased are tough foes to deal with. Not to mention the various bosses. Legends of the Pantheon, they are. Demigods, hell-bent on denying the meek from ascending to Elysium. Let's just say, you don't want to be caught off guard by a literal moon shattered into a million pieces raining down on you. So, what could be more effective than an undying warrior with heavy artillery? That's right, four of them. With up to three friends, the path to Elysium will feel just a little less daunting. Or if you want to dominate the legions of purgatory for your own entertainment, feel free to do so. Everyone is already dead. There are no rules. Just don't think they won't put up a fight. This is Parish. The next title is called Airhead. It's a very unique concept. You have a body and a head. Sounds familiar? Here's the kicker. Your head comes off and needs a steady supply of air or other gases. However, the story and lore of this Metroidvania-style game world go deeper than meets the eye. Heads up. A symbiotic being reliant on its own air source is ripped apart by a machine of unknown origin. Incomplete, the head organism is left to die as it slowly leaks air. A headless body that fell down into the twisted caves witnesses the tragedy. Both of them quickly realize that only together they have a chance of survival and that they need to work as a team to overcome the challenges of the cave. Head is constantly deflating while body carries it, so the cave's many air cylinders are vital for Head to stay inflated and alive. Body, on the other hand, soon realizes that Head brings an entire set of its own abilities to the table. Floating around the caves with helium, or activating some of the abandoned machinery in the area, are only a few of the many things that Head can learn on the duo's long journey to regain the air-producing half of Head and to save its life. And perhaps more. The caves are only the beginning, as the team will soon climb high mountains, dive into the depths of hidden lakes, and explore an abandoned facility that is operated by a number of robots led by an all-monitoring artificial intelligence. On their journey, they will meet a number of creatures that have all adapted to their environment in their own way. Help them to reach their own goals, and they may return the favor. but not everyone you meet will be so friendly. What are the robots searching for? What was the purpose of the facility and why is everyone gone now?
Consult your library to find out new things about the world's inhabitants and the machines that always seem to get in your way. Head's constantly growing repertoire of abilities will help you shed light onto the most complex puzzles, reach new heights during your journey, and take a deep dive into the mystery. Even when all seems lost and body and head get separated from one another, there may be new opportunities and perspectives opening up. Sometimes one head is not enough. And when the time calls for it, some heavier machinery may come in handy. Charging headfirst into adventure can turn a previous dead end into a new possibility to reach your goal. Everything in the world of Airhead is connected. There are secret pathways and new routes to be found in previously visited areas. And coming back with new abilities may reveal new possibilities. Every hidden collectible and every dark cranny of the map has a meaning. And only by perfect teamwork will the deepest secrets of the facility be revealed. What will you do to save your friend? And are you ready to face the consequences of your actions? Our next title, Endling, has amassed quite the fan base already. Naturally, what's not to love about a cute family of foxes? However, you as the player experience quite the dark journey. Let's find out together. Imagine a not so distant future where mankind will not stop ravaging the planet. While you are playing the last fox on Earth, fighting for survival in search of the rare sources of food which are left in this dying world, you see that not only the animals are suffering. Witness humanity itself committing suicide, unwillingly, unknowingly. As the days go by, the water in the rivers, if you still want to call them that, is becoming more and more polluted. You see bodies of water slowly transforming into garbage dumps. No surprise, as you see garbage trucks dumping their toxic loads into the once life-bearing and life-giving rivers. You may experience a dense forest with green and lively flora in the beginning, but as time passes, you will begin to hear chainsaws and falling timber during the day while you and your kits rest in your burrow. Coming out at dusk, you might spot sprayed on markings on the trunks of trees. Soon they'll be gone too. During your daily search for food, you'll encounter people becoming sicklier by the day growing desperately in their attempts to catch you, struggling with, for example, an advancing cough due to the toxicity of the air. They'll end like the trees. They'll be gone one day. Foxes can neither talk nor understand human language, but they are smart, keen observers. So you will experience the world through the senses of the vixen as you guide her along. The animal's senses are transcribed into visuals that will aid in immersing you, the player, into the environment on a deeper level. Visualized, you see what the fox sees, see what she smells, and see what she thinks, remembers, and concludes. The passing of time is represented by the changing of the environment. You see firsthand what humans in this, hopefully, alternative reality are up to and what fate they will endure. Not immediately, but slowly and inevitably.
Up next, Townsman VR. This virtual reality medieval city builder has been in early access for quite a while, and ever since, players have been asking for the next update. It took us a lot longer than initially expected, because the game has grown massively in its scope. However, we truly believe that it was worth the wait. And the best part is, the update is already live. Let's jump right in. Welcome to Townsman VR, a medieval city builder where you can have direct control over pretty much everything. Today we want to give you a good example of more complex supply chains in the game. How to recruit a knight in a few easy steps. First we need iron for weapons and armor, but this mine is close to the wolf swamp so it's very dangerous. But nothing some archers and workers couldn't handle. Yeah. Now that the threat is gone, we can build an iron mine where our miners can dig for iron ore, which can now be put into the iron smelter to produce iron bars. Iron bars are the base resource for a lot more advanced technology. Let's give this blacksmith a free ride to the Iron Forge, where he can produce our first sword. Swords are required for recruiting swordsmen, and of course, knights. You can simply put the sword into the castle yourself, if you don't want to wait for it to be transported there. For armor, we need to take a short detour and build a church. Why a church, you ask? In order to produce armor, our monks have to research a new building extension in the library. Building extensions are very useful, as they offer new work options for the main building's job type. And voila! Our blacksmith can now produce armor in the armory. There is now only one important step left. Some delicious cake. Our first ingredients are eggs. And if our chickens are not quick enough, we can help with the egg production. This approach, however, does not work with the milk that we also need. And of course, we also need flour, which just takes some wheat that the miller can work with in the windmill. And with a little help from us, we can then have our flour. Our miller can now combine all these ingredients at the oven. And finally bake a delicious cake. And here he is, in all his glory. Look at him. Don't be shy. Nothing can stop you in your mighty armor. Oh! Well, this is how you get a knight in Townsman VR. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Another very unique Early Access title, One Hand Clapping, is soon leaving its Early Access phase. With the full release just around the corner comes one last big content update for you to sing your song. One Hand Clapping is our 2D vocal platformer that requires you to sing or hum to progress through its vibrant world. Being an outstanding vocal performer is not a requirement, however. Rather, the game wants you to find confidence in your own voice as you solve progressively more difficult puzzles and challenges. One Hand Clapping has been in early access since July 2020, and that journey is coming to an end. The full release is just around the corner, and with that comes the final big content update. 
You have escaped Silent City with its gloomy atmosphere and judgmental inhabitants. You have met a new friend in the Duet Desert and found self-esteem through the concept of melody. You have climbed Maestro Mountain and gotten into the groove of Rhythm Village. You have entered Fugue Forest and mastered Harmony to complete your musical skill set. With that, you are well prepared to face the final tests. In Coda Cave, space-time works a little differently. Uh... Get ready for a wonderfully weird experience with a new set of challenges that will require your full attention and effort. A seemingly endless tunnel will take you down into the depths where you will utilize all of your knowledge and then some to solve puzzles revolving around echolocation, audio recordings, and more. Reveal platforms by singing inside a certain range in the echolocation puzzles. Record your previous actions to cooperate with your past self. You will have visions of your past travels and recognize certain elements in a new context. Coda Cave is also the place where you will have to confront your biggest fear. Silence Incarnate. It will be your greatest challenge yet. You have all the tools you need to beat the silence once and for all. Will you know how to use them? And then eventually your whimsical journey will come to an end. But don't worry. There will be time to reflect on your experience and reflect on what you have learned. Not only in the form of game mechanics, but maybe even in a useful life lesson. Your voice is beautiful and unique. It's how your loved ones recognize you from afar. It's how you share your hopes, fears, and secrets with those around you. But what you want to do with it is ultimately up to you. Will you sing your song? Our final game of the night, and the second completely new reveal, is called The Exit. It's a game that deals with death, what comes after, and remembering the dead. Let's jump in. You are dead. You weren't sure what the next step was. But you open your eyes, and there you are again. Alive? No. But not truly dead, either. An unknown world. A new objective. Some new people. D-Exit explores the plane of memory. A world where those who strive for good in life come to live as long as they are remembered. There, all kinds of cultures exist. Death is no longer seen as an end, but as a conversation and a new step on our path. A survivor is a hero.
This world that was meant to be your safe haven to rest and think is clearly not what you expected. It is being corrupted, torn apart from the inside, and the inhabitants of the plane of memory have lost all hope. Only you are brave enough to help to bring back the light that will get rid of the corruption. But to do so, you will not need to fight. Surviving and reaching your objectives is hard enough. There is no combat in D-Exit. It's about sneaking from corrupted enemies, solving intricate puzzles, finding the best path to take among the rubble of this broken world. Fleeing from great beasts, and in the end, saving the world. A voxel cinematographic experience with complex and movie-like camera movements, grandiose lighting, and VFX, and all contrasting with a minimalistic voxel aesthetic. This idea of contrast is central in the game and makes it truly stand out. The simplicity is able to cause both surprise in the player and helps focus and highlight even more cinematic aspects. Epic, but intimate. Talking about contrast, the main story is of great proportions, an adventure about saving a world at the brink of destruction, with great powers and even greater foes. But in its core, D-Exit is about the people, not so much about death itself, but about how we perceive it one way or another. The sadness and grief it brings, but also the acceptance some have towards it. It's about helping others and accepting help, about a world that lost not only themselves, but friends they made, and how you spark in the dark to bring back this joy to them. D-Exit is, in the end, another perspective on death and heroism, where death is a step on our path, one of survival in the face of illness, another viable form of heroism. survive. And that's all we have for you tonight. Thanks for watching. Make sure to wishlist any game you're interested in on Steam and join our Discord. Have a fantastic day. Bye.